we use a lot of water. For instance, you can use around 25 gallons when taking a shower, 3 gallons just brushing your teeth, and up to 5 gallons flushing the toilet. That's 33 gallons even before you leave your house in the morning. So imagine how much water is used each day between schools, businesses, homes, farms, and the list goes on because everybody uses water. When a lot of water is used, it collects bad stuff like germs, trash, chemicals, and other pollutants. This dirty water is called sewage, and if it goes right back into our lakes, rivers, and streams, it can carry all that bad stuff with it, polluting the clean water the world needs. To protect our environment, wastewater treatment plants collect rainwater from cities and the water we use every day. These pumps lift the sewage into the uh, Van Laer wastewater treatment plant where we treat about 135 million gallons of raw sewage each day. Where the water first enters the plant, the raw sewage is coming through these bar screens and it collects all the papers, cans, sticks, and debris before it gets into the treatment facility. After the water passes through the bar screens that you saw, the water comes into these non-aerated grit channels where the stones and the grit are being removed. When it rains, the water picks up grit, which is basically rock, sand, and dirt, along with the litter and pollutants on the ground. They have to get rid of the grit early on because it can damage the rest of the equipment at the plant. Next, the water flows to the primary settling tank, where the solid matter in the sewage, called sludge, sinks to the bottom. It gets pumped out to these tanks and then shipped out to the landfill. The water in the settling tanks drains off the top and flows through to the next stop. Once the water leaves the primary settling tank, it comes into this aeration tank where these mixers are putting dissolved oxygen into the water. There are little bugs or organisms naturally in the water and they help clean it by eating the sewage. Just as fish need dissolved oxygen to breathe, these bugs need dissolved oxygen to eat up all the organics in this waste water that they can. Once the bugs have done their job, the water moves on to another settling tank that works just like the first. Now the water that drains off the top of the tank is free of most of the sludge. What's left are bad germs called pathogens that can be harmful in the environment. To kill these bad germs, chlorine is added in the chlorine contact chamber. After our chlorination process, the water is discharged out into Lake Ontario, three and a half miles out. So the wastewater treatment plant helps the environment by cleaning used water that can cause pollution. You can do your part simply by using less water. You can reuse the water from your fish tank to water the plants. It actually has chemicals that can help plants grow. Take short showers and turn the faucet off when you're brushing your teeth. Keep cold water in the fridge so you don't have to let the faucet run until the water's cold. And tell your friends, if more people know, more people will help conserve our fresh water. Using less water means less water gets dirty, and that's good for you, the treatment plant, and the environment.